everyone. This is Sincere of Sincere's channel, and welcome again. Um, I love history and historical novels. In this video, I will give brief synopses about two light historical novels that I read this year, uh, which are both good introductions to a period of antiquity that is not often covered in fiction. Earlier this year, I ran across a two-book series called The Theodosian Women. The two novels are light historical reads and are both standalone books with the titles Twilight Empress and Dawn Empress. And they are written by an American author called Faith L. Justice. The series is called The Theodosian Women because the two main characters and others in the books are from the Theodosian line of the Roman imperial families. Now, these two books are not in the same league as historical novels by two of my favorite authors, Margaret George or Sandra Guland, but they are interesting and a good introduction to a period in history that is not often touched on in the average historical novel set during the Roman Empire. Of the two, I think Dawn Empress is the better book. Twilight Empress is the story of Placidia, the half-sister of Roman Empress Honorius, ruler in the West, and Arcadius, ruler in the East. Honorius is a character in this novel, whereas his brother is briefly in the beginning of Dawn Empress. So the two books are intertwined family sagas. At the beginning of Twilight Empress, Placidia is in her early 20s and living in Rome, while her brother and his court have moved to the relative safety of Ravenna. Placidia is captured and held as a political bargaining chip after Rome falls and is sacked by the Visigoths under King Alaric. Her brother Honorius makes little to no effort to ransom her. Placidia is stubborn and is a survivor, forced on a long, lifelong odyssey where she often has little control over her own destiny. The second book in the series, Dawn Empress, is the story of Placidia's niece, Pecuria, the daughter of Emperor Arcadius, the half-brother of Placidia and Emperor Honorius. Pulcheria's father is the emperor of the Eastern Roman Empire. Unlike Twilight Empress, where the locales in the novel are varied, the setting of Dawn Empress is mainly in Constantinople. The opening scene of the novel is of a drunk and grief-stricken Emperor Arcadius forcing his young daughter Pulcheria to wake up and come with him the bedroom of her mother who has just died in childbirth. This is Pocuria's first taste of the sometimes ugly and scary adult world. Not long afterwards, Pocuria and her younger siblings, Theodosius, Arcadia, and Marina are an orphan. Her little brother Theodosius was already co-emperor with his late father, but at seven he is underage. So, a regent must rule in his place until he comes of age. Intelligent and mature for her years, like a mother hen, Bulkeria is determined to protect her little brother and sisters and their birthright. She doesn't want her family to be used as political pawns. One bright spot is the imperial children are relatively protected and nurtured in a palace household that is vastly different from when their parents were, were alive. The children's parents were very lax Christians. Bulkeria's mother had been an unfaithful wife and her father an alcoholic. The palace is transformed from a place of free-willing, loose morals to almost a monastery. The children's education is placed 
in its place in the hands of priests and monks. And Pulcheria becomes a religious ascetic at a young age, fasting, praying, and despising lavish material things. So much so that she is cautioned to be careful about her physical health since she is a growing child. Her siblings follow her lead in almost everything. The novel covers the life of Bukiria, who dearly loves her people and who, despite her social station in life, goes out and mingles with the common folk, helping and attending to the poor with her two sisters. The citizens adore her. Like her aunt Placidia, who is also featured in the book, she can be stubborn and also overly, overly protective of her younger brother Theodosius. For a while after he ascends the throne, Bulgaria is the real power behind the empire. In my opinion, Dawn Empress is the better written of the two, but Twilight Empress has more action. The author seemed to have gotten a better grasp on the characters than she did in the first novel. The characters in Twilight Empress call themselves Christian, but they appear to still have one foot in the pagan world and the other in Christianity. While in Twilight Empress, while in Dawn Empress, I mean, the main characters are extremely devout Eastern Christians. Today, Alia Pucaria uh, is venerated as a saint in both the Catholic and Orthodox churches. The titles of the two books, Twilight Empress and Dawn Empress, were, are also symbolic. Placidia's story told in Twilight Empress is about the final years of the Roman Empire in the West, while Pucaria's story in Dawn Empress is about the newer Roman Empire in the East that would not fall until a thousand years later. I will be putting information about the two books, Twilight Empress and Dawn Empress, below in the description. I hope you enjoyed this video about these two historical novels and learned something new. Thanks again for watching my channel, and I hope you have a happy 2023. This is Sincere Ray. Until next time.